in India. Yeah, but that time, when the doors were made and used in India, the Indians had a lot of elephants, which for some times used to be pushing the doors to get the food. So the Indians came out with ideas of making copper, copper stools in order to make sure that the elephants cannot push it. Then the doors came to be imported to Zanzibar to be used as a sign of status. Understand? So the doors, big ones, less ones, shows that somebody living in that building is rich. Otherwise, you cannot afford it. So those which are round on top are known as, as Indian doors. And for those which are square or rectangular, they are known as, as Arabic doors. The town is named Stone Town, as I spoke to you from the beginning, because of Arabs use the cornerstones to build it. Yes, and the town it has got very narrow streets. The reason is, by the time it was built, Arabs had horses, no cars. So they didn't need a big space for them, making the streets be looking very narrow. And remember that again, from the year 2000, Stone Town of Zanzibar is under UNESCO. So this is the World Heritage Site. The town is protected by UNESCO. Most of the buildings around here, as I spoke to you, are owned by the government for locals to live in. And it can be easy for you to identify which is a private, which is a public, like everywhere. For example, this one here, it is a public, it's a private one. And then this one here, you can see the condition outside, it is a public one. Some of them look stuck outside. The reason is the wind from the sea is containing salt tea, making them go dark. Because it takes time for the government to come back and repaint them, they can keep looking like this way. But for those which are private owned, the owners keep repainting them, making them look less every day compared to the public ones, maybe like everywhere. So it's the salt that turns them black. The salt, salt. Yeah, the wind containing salt from the sea. Uh, make them go dark as you can see them. Okay? And uh, maybe not like you. Look at the wiring system. We can see the wires on top of us. Most of them are for cable TV, okay, electricity and landline telephones. So we keep it outside of the buildings to make sure it's easy for locals to make changes or to fix it at any time compared to make it underground. That's how they're going to be seen. They are top the buildings. Okay, then come this way. Pole, pole. Yes, go out. Then come this way. I spoke to you that Stone Town is very safe. Somebody here dies clothing outside for the streets. And nobody takes it. You can see? And uh, nobody takes it. Then come this way and keep left side. Okay, okay, left. Family. Stay left. Okay, left side. Okay. Right left is side. oncoming traffic. Oh, oh. This. oh. Fine, we go. Quick. Very quick. Guys, come this way. Wow, this is incredible. Okay, then come this way. Okay, look at over there, you can see. That side. This way, you can see the building with a single balcony, but the nice one. Oh, oh. I mean, these streets are tighter than the British streets. Yes, I see. In London. Okay.
Your family, make sure you bring your waterproof poncho and your umbrella. Me, yeah, I like the show as a blessing. And this is one person read the memo and she's prepared. Ex-military. <laughs> she's ready for war. I'm telling you. Hey, the family is about preparation. I'm ex-military. I know what you're doing. There you go. There you go. Take the biggest one down. So there you go, family. Make sure you bring all these things that we have on the list. Make, read the list, bring them, and then, because once you get here to Stone Town, it seemed like we came in yesterday, the rain hit us good, and we're back here today, and the rain yeah, is nice, so it's always cool out here. It's not raining really hard. It's so, waiting on. We're waiting for the rain. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. We keep moving as long as everybody is good with it. Yes, not even. There you go, family. A little after rain, sunshine. Yeah. After dark nights, bright morning. You know, family, what everyone's talking about is these Africa for Africans t-shirts we have. Oh. Yeah, black Empowerment, everybody's loving it, man. Yes, Every country we go. I'm okay, but you still the way. Just up Left side, okay? This is Embassy Spice Hotel. Oh. We very nice balconies, as you can see over there. Well, who built this? Sorry? This was built by the Arabs. The Arabs? Yes. The Arabs. Then because of the prison industry, okay. some of the family bought it from the government to make them from America. This is Embassy Spice Hotel. Abu Salama. This one. Ah, yeah, son. That's it. Great. Ah, Okay. We spoke about buildings getting darker because of the steep breeze. Look at over there. Mr. the building here. Can see how much. Okay. Then, then this way. Take a short break. We are coming, okay? For the bullet, we carry on. Can you put in the bracelet? How much is this? How much? How much? How much? I don't know. Oh, oh! The way Phoenix Stone Town are built, you can see there, it came to collapse one side. You see there, there is no concrete, it is only stones, porous stones and soil. Ah. And then the buildings can be raised as you can see 
over there. So because the stone town is an UNESCO, there's no much changes. There's no much innovation, okay? Just make the country take hold. But UNESCO keeps watching the buildings. For those which are about clubs, the locals are informed so that they can get out and then UNESCO can protect it from falling down. Well, why do they collapse? No way, if it comes out by itself, but locals know that this building is about clubs, so they yes, evacuate. It never helps anything. The one in the next welcome. Mm. As you can see, family, all now, stone. Through the middle now. Through the middle, okay? Show us the blessing, show us the blessing.